the brother of ex-Man United player, French superstar Paul Pogba, has again come, come out on social media and made some outrageous, absolutely outrageous claims, has made some absolutely absurd claims about Paul Pogba. And I know people are kind of having a bit of a laugh about this. I know people are kind of looking at this as kind of a little bit of a joke, a little bit jovial. But this is becoming really, really serious. Not only is there a full-scale investigation into this situation, his brother Paul had been detained, placed under formal investigation around an alleged plot to extort money from his brother. There have, of course, been the, 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 the realisation of an £11 million heist, blackmailers at were forcing Paul Pogba to transfer the money from his bank to theirs. Uh, his brother and friends from his childhood have been involved. In, and we've spoken about this before on the football terrace. The only reason the money didn't go through is because the bank that, that Paul Pogba is with, who will remain nameless, blocked it. They, they felt it, it very out of character, even though it was Paul Pogba trying to instruct it. This is really scary. And this is scary from, from two angles. Because either... I'm going to say this as candidly as I can. Either Paul Pogba's brother is suffering with a severe, severe mental breakdown. Or there is a real genuine organized gang or crime unit out to get Paul Pogba. And either way, I don't necessarily think this is being treated as seriously as it should. Now, I know he doesn't play football in England anymore. I know he's playing in, in Italy. I know he's a French star. But this is genuinely chilling. This is genuinely scary with some of the outrageous claims that are being made. And now in a series of videos, and there's lots of them on Pogba's brother's Twitter account, and lots of tweets being made. And for me, of course, I'm, I'm only using Twitter's ability, uh, ability to translate them, so I'm not reading them in French, so I'm, I may be missing uh, nuance within the language. And if anybody is French-speaking, please educate us in the comments and make it make a little bit more sense. But these are the kind of claims that are being made that my brother Paul is hypocritical, sneaky, and a criminal man. The mask will fall like R. Kelly, Weinstein, or Mendy. You will see that it is not pretty. To be famous is not necessarily to be a good person. No one is above justice. Essentially there, he is proclaiming he is stating that Paul Pogba has committed offences of the same degree as R. Kelly, Harvey Weinstein, and the alleg who have both been found guilty, and the allegations that have been made against Benjamin Mendy, which a lot of people believe to be true. But in until he is proven um, guilty, we will call them allegations because that is the, the, the fair thing to do. And this is outrageous. I mean, th this is just, for me, as it stands right now, I mean, there's been no accusations as far as I can see. There's no uh, uh, investigations. There's been no arrests. That There is no claims as far as I can see. And if I admit, again, I'll say to the viewers, if there's something that's been claimed in the past, send it through to me. Let me see. Let me read. Let me educate myself. But I couldn't find anything. These are outrageous claims. And when you actually go through the Twitter account of his brother, I mean, it is... It is a little scary. If I'm being absolutely honest with you, it's a little bit scary to look at it. And I'm going to put it on the screen for you all to see right now. Um, I'm going to put it up on the screen and we'll kind of look at this together. Let me put this full screen. So yeah, there we go. It's a little better. I mean, there are so many claims in here and obviously I'm going to have to translate this so you guys can read it. But you know, if you're reading this message, my bot will have done its automatic sending job. It also means that I am no longer free either because of my brother's henchmen or because of police. So the slanderous complaints to silence me will have worked. I mean, these are huge, huge claims. But equally, it does appear to be an element of illness in this. And I'm sorry to say it, but it appears there's illness in this. I haven't even looked at all of them here. They're talking about before I start, I would tell you beware of possible manipulation of the media on the side of Paul and his lawyer. Um, of the FFF, not to mention the influence of the state sponsor. The state sponsor is behind this. 
And the reason that I say this is so chilling, the reason that I say this is so <sighs> out there is, is Paul Pogba, the footballer, he's making him sound like part of the establishment, a, a global gangster, Al Capone, top boy. This can't be right. And maybe the media is silent on this because they don't know the facts. Maybe the media is silent on this because of um, maybe, maybe there's some rules and laws around it, again, that I'm unaware of. And if you know more than me, please state it. But this is a football player. This is a human being who's had an 11 million pound bankruptcy ploy. Heist put against him. Criminal investigations are under, underway. Paul Pogba has been moved into police protection along with his lady wife and his mother. And you now have the brother who is alleged to be one of the ringleaders in this, in this, in this heinous, abhorrent situation out here claiming that Paul Pogba is committed atrocities in the same way as R. Kelly, Weinstein and Mendy. This is absolutely hideous. And to, to, for this to happen and to come from his own brother is, for me, is heartbreaking. For me, it's heartbreaking to see as someone who's very close to my own brothers, you know, seeing this is, it, it, it's out there. And there's two things, as I say, at hand. This is like a, a deflection tactic from his brother to try and throw the police off scent or to try and proclaim some kind of inno innocence and sort of try and almost get Pogba's haters and conspiracy theorists online to start looking into things and making stuff up, which could also be damaging for Paul. Or he is suffering, and this is what even even scarier to, to a degree. Like, he's done these things and he's deflecting, but also maybe he is just suffering with a complete and utter mental breakdown for one reason or another. But you've got to hope that he's being kept as far away from Paul Pogba as possible. Because we've all seen, you know, that they make these kind of shows now on Netflix. They make these kind of shows now on 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 various streaming, uh, Amazon and whatever, where, you know, you, you might not have heard about the stories, but you know, brothers or, you know, famous people being, and I'm going to say this, like hurt, murdered, killed. This has like the plot line to it. And it's really chilling. And I feel like a lot of attention needs to be on this in a way of keeping everybody alert ensuring that Paul Pogba is under police protection, his football club and, 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 and his national team are putting security around him. They're ensuring that he is as safe as possible because I think they should do it for anybody, by the way. Any, per any person that's, that's suffering with something like this, there should be a huge amount of attention on it. But it's just crazy. And, and one of the claims here that I, I wanted to show you as well is um, Mateus Pogba believes that protecting the image of France and the French team and of, uh, and of the French world champions wanting the World Cup to be completely normal because of the influence France will be Im I immense. Almost suggesting that the reason that he's being targeted and Paul Pogba's not being um, ousted here is because they're trying to protect the image of French football. But what doesn't make sense to me when I read through all of this is if everything you're saying about Paul's true, and maybe, maybe th this is what it is. If you're trying to, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're saying that what Paul Pogba's done is he's, he's been out here sexually assaulting people, clearly you weren't interested in outing him and getting him arrested and having him charged and justice. You were out here trying to get money out of him. Look, we're going to tell everybody unless you give us money. <laughs> That's the only way this makes logical sense. Other than that, it's all the other way. You tried to extort your brother for, for money because he, he, he cut you out. That didn't work. So now what you're trying to do is damage his reputation. I mean, that, that's probably far more likely, right? But it's almost like you're trying to play the big man now about justice and everything else. Well, if it is, if what you're saying is true, is what I'm saying, then why didn't you just go to the police for justice? Provide the evidence to the police, have your brother arrested and move on from there. And I'm not saying anybody's taking the accusation towards Paul Pogba seriously at this moment in time. But it only takes a couple of other people, and we've seen many of these happen in the past, some false allegations to come in, and suddenly the world will turn on him because the seed has been planted. This, for me, as it stands right now, is a complete and utter mess. It's chilling, it's scary, it's almost hard to make sense of in many ways. And this sounds to me like a 
a jealous, angry sibling at the success of his brother who has lashed out, who has tried to extort him, ex extort him, tried to blackmail him. That has fouled. He's now getting in trouble. And now there has been a complete and utter mental breakdown. The projection you see from him is absolutely insane. It's almost like he, his brain can't comprehend his own actions. So he's trying to defer things elsewhere. But Paul Pogba, look, he needs a lot of love. He needs a lot. He needs an arm around him, metaphorically and physically. He needs the French Football Association. He needs Juventus. He needs his team around him to ensure that he, he and his family are protected because this is real scary stuff. And nobody, nobody deserves to go through this. Listen, let me know what your thoughts are below. Um, I, I, I want to hear from you on this. Give the QR code a scan for us as well, please. We are sponsored by One Football today, which is where we got these stories from. Uh, so go check out their app for the latest football news, especially keeping up to date with this with this story. But my God, my God, 